for letting me know about your new anthology and for letting me in on one of your most heartfelt projects, Sister Iggy. At first, I thought it was larger than life, but then I tackled it. No force up scarlet hibiscus fanning into flame of the forest. Absence of red ants in abundance. So at a glance, one would mistake that swarm for burning bush. Disembodied voice did not command. Remove shoes and stand. Ten toes spread on holy ground. No nocturnal name call to answer with, Speak, Lord, thy servant heareth. This came at noon on the school playground, where she had shied a ball so hard that the wicket split, outing the batsman, and her side won. The voice said, Clean bold, well done, my own Mary. Thus spoke the divine commentator to teenager Mary Davis, who was all set to go off to play ball or rock around the clock in the world's dance hall. Said she, You don't know any girls who are not named Mary? I'm the girl child who can play football, cricket, netball, and table tennis. Featherweight, I box. I could be DJ who makes the crowd swing. That is the Mary I am. I want to marry you and make you the mother to scores of boys who would go wide off the mark if I do not give you charge of ragamuffins this world would write off. Youths, I have appointed my very own musical co-creators. Say yes, say yes, the waiting alpha boys chorused. From henceforth you will be called after Saint Ignatius. Bless up, bless up, alpha boys chorus. Bless our sister Iggy. Thank you.